My name is Dawn Meredith. I'm a, currently a police sergeant for the Community Health Network Police Department. I'm a mother of four, a grandmother of nine, and I love people and I love my family. Good job. My husband, Dale Meredith, he is also in law enforcement, a former Marine. He's been in law enforcement for 20 years as well, and we've been together for the better part of that 20 years. It started friendship, but uh, our relationship really blossomed uh, probably about a year prior to moving to here, which was around 2018. We had a friendship before. Uh, Best friends first. Yeah, and yeah. then uh, <laughs> just through the years, uh, the opportunity presented itself, and we got together and just just followed that path. He so, saw how great I was. Yeah, was yeah such what, a great police what, officer and what, everything. I wanted to be just like him. <laughs> yeah. I, I got diabetes when I was four. Type two diabetes. I was diagnosed at forty. And from 40 to, to 50, uh, you know, get, being worn there, you gotta watch your sugars, it'll damage your kidneys. And I jumped from going into stage three all the way to five, like within a very short amount of time. And I've been looking for a kidney for the last year, for in a year's time. She was the first one to step up and say, all right, I'll give you mine. And I'm like, no. Somebody's got to take care of me while I'm down. I, I'm not putting you in jeopardy. And uh, uh, everybody was getting shut down. My daughter, my, my children volunteered their kidneys. And uh, just people that I've yeah. arrested before was calling me, hey, can I give you my kidney? Yeah. And there was so many people wanting to do it. And uh, we even had a, another community police officer that wanted to donate his kidney and went through the whole process up to the last step. And, he was denied because there was something with his kidneys going on. I just minute stuff that was kicking him out, and then the, I'm laying next to the person every night that is a is a donor for the kidney. So to me, it's kind of like it's meant to be type of thing. You know, I'm a, a big believer in Christ, and uh, I think God has a plan, and everything is for a reason, and everything happens for a reason, uh, good and bad. So. Uh, he has a plan. I don't know what it is, but the person I'm sitting next to wound up being the one giving me the kidney. So uh, I couldn't tell her no. Because I had just lost my son in 2023 from kidney failure, diabetes, high blood pressure. Uh, I didn't get the opportunity to donate a kidney to my son, so I told him I can't wait any longer. Like, you know, there was always some kind of hiccup with my son that stopped us from donating, so I just decided I got to try to. When she found she was a match, I was like, okay, you know, that to me is proof that there is a God. Because what's the odds that I wind 20 years ago, I wound up meeting a person, lo and behold, she's a match, which is crazy. I have asked the man daily, please let me give him my kidney, please. That is it. Just keep your hand on me and let me do this. I just found out recently that a lot of people from Community South and Community East got together and, uh, you know, donated money or whatever they could do to help us while we're out of work and a lot of people from both sides and that that right me it's just huge like when you think people aren't as kind anymore mm -hmm. that's not true they're kind it's very humbling like i i love everybody on my team uh including the other departments so i'm blessed 20 years later, where now my life is dependent upon everything that started when we first met, uh, it's just to me, it's just amazing. I need him around. He's my best friend, my partner. Uh, he supported me through, you know, the last 20 years, everything that I've went through in life. So it's just to me, it's like easy. We'll have another 15, 20 years together, hopefully. Uh, we've been friends for over 20 years. so. 
I know if, if she needed that, a kidney, one of my organs, uh, and I was in a position to give it to her, I'd have done it in a heartbeat. I mean, yeah, there's obviously a lot of respect and love with, between us or whatever, but I don't think that's the only reason why you gave me your kidney. A lot of uh, handyman jobs at home. <laughs> yeah. Got to keep him around She needs somebody bit. to take out the trash, you know. <laughs>